All right, welcome back. The last video in the accessory series that I purchased, I, I spent an extra uh, $75 or so in total on the accessories I bought uh, to make this lathe experience uh, a little easier to use to really do some of the things they're really gonna wanna do. Um, in the previous clips, you, you saw that I got a, an adjustable uh, quick change tool holder, although I'd Looking back on it, I don't think it's, I don't think it's made for this size of a lathe. It's small. I feel like it should be as big as the original, but that's fine. I'm going to use it. It wasn't that expensive. Like I said, total $75 just to get me started on something better. Um, I got the live center. I did get some, uh, some carbide indexable tooling, some center bits, and then finally, this is the the last item that was purchased. Let's get this opened up. probably already guessed what it is, but it's a drill chuck. Kind of felt that was important to have in order to use a tailstock to start boring some holes or using drill bits to, to drill some center holes. None of this is name brand stuff. Um, it is all Morris Taper 2. I did it did go with, I believe it was a half inch chuck. Not a lot of info on this cheap stuff. Of course, here's the Morse taper. Let's go ahead and get that put in here. Slid into the tailstock. Oh, I'm gonna have to extend that out a little bit. Let's mount you up here. See if you can't see that. Slide this guy over. So there we go. I mean, this every time you add another accessory on, you you lose how large a workpiece, how long a workpiece you can use. But that's okay. Uh, I didn't have this capability, and I certainly want to be able to put in center bits and drill bits in order to work on round bar and other other stock to drill holes. So that's the last of the accessories I purchased to. Uh, add some capabilities to this. Seems to be in decent shape. Not too bad. Look forward to using it. Did come with a, a check. Again, not a lot in the box, but everything you would need. And the price was right. Most of this stuff, I don't think I spent $75, $80, $80 on it. But that'll give me some uh, some additional capabilities, especially looking forward to trying this for the adjustment. I mentioned that before. Just trying to get this thing centered with shims with the other tool holder was quite frustrating. That's going to end the initial accessory purchase video um, add-ons. These are the things that I purchased. I'll let you know my experience as I start using them and my thoughts. But for now, some of this stuff seems okay. Some of it seems pretty cheap. You know, of course you get what you pay for. Uh, I understand that, but I don't want to dump 
thousands of dollars into this hobby and it go unused. I want to see what I use, what I don't use, and then improve some of the products I bought later if I decide that, uh, that I want to continue. That's going to end this video, and the next will probably be some actual projects, small projects starting off with, or uh, some metal test cuts, things like that, still continuing to figure out some of these new tooling.